happening? So I'm going to just show how I um, did these beautiful mat or mate. I don't know how you pronounce it. <laughs> Finished coffee mugs that I found at Family Dollar here for only $2 a piece. So I am new. I say that all the time, but pretty new, probably going on about three months. This was the easiest thing to do. All I did was get my design and put it in my oven. But these things are $2 a piece. They say they get them whenever. So I went to a couple of stores around here and got some. I got about 20 of them. I'm going to design it. I'm going to show you how I did it. Nothing hard. Nothing extraordinary but i love these mugs they feel so like rubber that's what it's called a make rubber finish so let's get to it now the first thing i do and this is just me when I get ready to design it, after I made my measurements where well, I want my design, I want it nine across and three height. So width nine inches and three to height. So what I do is I'm going to put a square here and I am going to unlock it so I can do those measurements. So we want nine inches across. Sorry about that. Nine inches across. And then we want three inches in the height. So once I do that, I go ahead and lock it back. So that scale is going to be locked in. So I'm old, so I need to make that a little bit bigger for me to work with. And once I get my design in here, then I go back to the nine by three. And it'll move everything to scale. So if it look good this big, it'll look good when I do it on my um, on my mug. So that's how I did it. Once I locked it back in, I made it bigger. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to design my mug. So I will be back after I design. And just regular design and i'll probably do a video for the new people because i know those of you that have been doing this for a while you're very advanced and you do it a different way i'm new i'm only doing it the way i know how and i'm trying to learn as i go on so this is a beginner's video as i go on hopefully i'll get to be doing expert videos but for right now this is the beginning so i'm gonna go ahead and design and i'll be right back So I thought better about doing my design because I want to make sure that I leave this center portion open for my um, poem or whatever I figure out to do right there. So what I did was do three three by three um, blocks, which will leave you nine by three. This is roughly the um, right thing. I'm going to group them together. Then I'm just going to... Um, 
attach it. And no, 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 not attach. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not attach. I got to flatten it or else it'll turn one color. I forgot about that. Now, that might not be the right way to do it, but again, I'm self-taught <laughs> and I'm new on some of the stuff. So, we're going to group these together. But they already grouped, so we're going to flatten them. And I want to make it a 9 by 3, so it'll be roughly, it's right now, 8.972 by 3.014, but I'm going to go on and I'm going to make it 9 by 3, and we'll work with that. So I just wanted to say that, so once I lock it into the 9 by 3, I go back and do it the right way because I did not unlock it. Okay, 9 by 3. There we go. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to lock that back in, and I'm going to go back to the drawing board. So, I just want to tell you that, because I want to make sure that even though it might not be exactly perfect, it's out by point some, some, something, when I put it on the cup, it is sort of be in the middle. So, I'm going to rearrange this and do it another way. I'm going to take all this stuff off of here, and I'm going to put it on here. So yeah, I did just count that. Not that it's going to be even, but, you know, because everything's going to be a different size and a different font, but just so I have the same amount on each side. Or they need to come out with something to lock these things in place. So this is for one of my biggest supporters. Every time I do something, um, Mr. Ronell is always there to support. He's always going to share my videos. He's going to invite people to go places. I'm a travel agent also besides doing crafts. I'm a travel agent. So... He's always inviting um, people to to my events. I, you know, I go different places on the bus or if I'm doing a cruise. I know he's the first one that's gonna share. He's also one of the first people I look for when I go on the live, and that's for um, my graphics or either um, crafting or just when I'm mad or. You know, he's always there. So I did um, honor him a couple of months ago, I believe. But when I tell you I really enjoy him and never met him personally, by the way, y'all. Even though he, we're from the same hometown, I was in the military, so I don't stay in my hometown. I've never met him personally, but I definitely look forward to interacting with him when when we're online and when I'm on my live. So I'm in the middle of six weeks of customer appreciation because with the without a customer, I wouldn't be nothing. So I've been honoring different people um, during this six weeks. And so he's one of my honorees. So I'm going to go ahead and design. I'm going to turn this off this time instead of um, letting it roll and fast forward because... I'm actually at a block in my mind right now, so I'm going to do some other things while I figure out what I'm going to put right there. So as I'm doing this, I'm trying to change all the writing so they'll look different. So I just wanted to um, let you know that you can have the same font and change it by going over here where it says Style. You can do regular, you can do bold, change the bold, or you can do italic, bold and italic, or you can change it to handwriting. So if you don't download a lot of fonts, uh, if you haven't, you can actually change the look of a font. You can have the same font. By going up here and changing that. So I just wanted to say that. 
So I finally finished my design. I did some trickery with some of the um, words and stuff. Um, not sure if it's the right way, but it's my way. I made this survive out of two circles. I can show you how to do that later on, but this is my design. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to resize it back to the three height. There you go. So this will be the design on the cup for Mr. Ronell. So I will um, go ahead and make another one because I'm going to do about three or four. And I'll come back and show you how to get it in the little, what you call it, the... Um, Yeah, I'm stuck. The oven wraps. I'm sorry. Somebody was texting me. I, I apologize. So I'm going to put that on there. But I'm going to do three or four because look what I have. Been all in these family dollars and got about three more people picking it up for me. Picking more cups up for me. So... Let me do a couple of more designs and then I'll come back. So I thought I'd show you how I made this survival right here. So this is how you do it, how I did it. Probably not the right way. So I got circle. Let me move this out the way so you can see what I'm doing. So I got a circle. I duplicated it. Made one of them white or whatever color. You can make it another color. Just make a color. Make it smaller. So you can put it in the center. So that's about center. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do for these two, I'm going to highlight both of them, the red and the black circle. So I went to the side and I clicked on both of them to highlight them right here. So once I highlight them, I'm going to go right down here to the corner. And I know it's hard to see, but if you go to the area in your thing, you'll see what it is. So what I'm going to do is hit slice. So once I hit slice, I'm going to get rid of that. I don't need that no more. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need that no more. Now to make this circle like this, all I do is unlock the proportions and stretch it out. Okay? So once I unlock the proportion, then I went ahead, not shape, I'm sorry, went ahead and type survivor. Once I typed, I used the bold letters. Just bring it in the middle. Space it how you want to make that a little bit larger. Uh, okay. Once I spaced it, I hooked both of them, grouped them, attached, and flattened. And that's how I made the survivor. So the second design is ready. And I didn't show how I, I showed you how I used the different colors to make my outline so I can, you know, sort of kind of get it centered. Again, someone texted me. So this is how I do it to make it all white. So I go in here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, Make the um, rectangle disappear in the back. I'm going to group this all. Okay, so I group this together. I group this together. I group this. I group in pairs, you know, my little different areas. So I'm going to group that together. I'm going to attach. It's all black, so it ain't going to change colors to another color. I'm going to flatten. Then... I'm going to bring the rectangle back. Well, no, I ain't. I, I did the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Bring the red tangle back, okay? So what I usually do is I'm going to take the red tangle out of there. I'm going to unflatten that. Change all the colors to white. Then I'm going to weld that together to one piece and it still kept my um my dimensions and then I'm going to bring it right on back over here make sure I get it right send it to the back and there we go and so I will attach that together with the words and then take it back to 9 by 3 okay I just wanted to show you how I did that Okay, I finally got my de design finished. And make sure you do it on mirror in image, and I cut it um, with my Cricut. So you can cut it hand by hand or whatever. It doesn't matter which way you do it. But this is how I get mine ready for the um, the oven. So I, I have a heat press, and I had a little mug thing, but I don't use that because I saw where the screws were messing up a lot, and I ain't got $500 to buy one of them sublimation ovens or whatever. So I bought me a little convection oven. So I'll show you that later. But I have my cup, my heat tape, my scissors, my heat gun, my shrink oven shrink wrap, and I have the image. The image is printed mirror. So let me show you how I do this. And it's probably not what the way everybody else do it. But I measured it. So I'm going to stick it back where I wanted it. It so I'll go ahead and get it. I know that I want it right here because that's the way I did it. So I don't use a lot of tape. The first thing I do is watch it mess up because I'm online. So let's see how we can do this. I take my cup, I take a long piece of tape. And I'm going to put it through, well, shoot, let me see. Okay, guys, this is this, taking me through there. I should have put the camera on the other side, dang. Okay, so, I'm going to take a long piece of tape, and I'm going to put it through the handle, up under the handle, from one side to the other side, so that... It keeps that the, uh, um, together, and that's the way I do it. So let's see if I can do this because it is backwards. I'm going to tape it on my hand so I can get it straight. Y'all, this ain't how I do it. I usually have this thing on here in about 10 seconds. So I'm going to take one side to the other side. Okay, there we go. So... I take one side to the other side. So I put the tape on, on one side. If I can put this, that's static, y'all. That ain't the tape that's sticking. <laughs> Lord. So, put it on one side. There we go. I'm going to thread it through. And I'm going to tighten it to the other side. So, there we go. And what I do on my heat tape, because this sucker be so hot when it come out, I go ahead and do a little fold so I can rip it off when I come, when it comes out the oven. So I do a little fold that's not going to stick to anything, and I put it right there. And just for GP, I go ahead, and sorry that it took so long. <laughs> it usually don't take that long. But that's how I tape it. I tape it together, a piece long enough to go from one side to the other. And then I leave a little fold. That way I can rip it off when it's um, when it's finished. So another, I put one right here just in case. And I also fold that one so I can rip it off when it when it um, comes out the oven. Because these suckers be hot. So for the shrink wrap, I'm going to go ahead and hurry up. I know this is about a five-hour video. I'm going to stop and start it so many times. You put the shrink wrap on there. I put it where the fold is on the... Um, on the hand, I guess it don't make no sense. I mean, it don't make a difference, make no sense. 
slide it in there. Make sure you have the right size. Yep, when you're doing the video, every good thing go wrong. I just did, did one and had no problem. So, I make sure that it's down below the transfer or whatever. And then, this is so big, I'm going to go ahead and cut the top of it off because I use it again when I do shot glasses, okay? So, I'm going to cut that off. This was my handy dandy. Heat gun comes in handy. Okay, got my heat gun and I turn mine on low and I start by the handle. And I turn it around. And all you're doing is shrink wrapping it. And it's holding that pressure that you usually hold when you have it in the oven with the silicone wrap. So, that's how I do it. I know the, I saw plenty of videos saying you can't use the shrink wrap with the handle, but hey, I did and it's been working pretty fine. So, there we go. It's shrink wrap, very tight. Got that pressure on that knee. So, this goes in the oven and I use a convection oven. 400 degrees for 15 minutes. So I'm going to go and do that and then I'll come back. I got another one that I did. So we're going to see what's going to go on. Let's go. So I came back and I um, thought about it. Of course, a, a, um, trying to improve as I go along. I just um, put three pieces of tape in here. I took it loose from the shrink wrap. Besides the one in the middle, I took I put two on the end, that way it can touch the cup so when it's sublimated and release the gases. I was just nervous about it because it was by the handle and once I said that people say you couldn't do it, then I thought I'd um, put a little bit more security because I did it last night, but as you can see, the design was not all around, so I just cut out the designs. I didn't actually do a whole one for the whole cup. So the only thing I adjusted was I went and put two more pieces of tape. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the shrink wrap. I had to cut that off. But it's better to mess up the shrink wrap than the, um, than the mug. So I'm going to shrink wrap this and get it in the oven. I already warmed my oven up. So the oven is a, I mean, the time is a beeping. So this is my oven. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and I'm going to take these off. Out. Let me set up this camera so you can see me taking them out. I left my tripod in the garage because it dinged on me. I mean, the time it dinged and I wasn't ready. So I'm hoping this is okay. I'm not actually looking on at the cameras on the tripod and I am behind it. So... I don't know if you can see it because people are texting me and I can't even see my screen. But um, you can see that the ink was released. So you see the words coming through there. I don't know if you remember, but when we put them in, you could not see the words through there. So at least we know it got released. Just let's hope it got released to the um to the cup i don't know i'm looking at this one i don't know if it released all the way i might want to put it back in there i'm just checking so if it didn't get released all the way you won't see this video it won't make the light of day so let me go on the cut and see i don't know how to use these scissors with these gloves and I have to remember that this sucker is very hot because my butt up in there grabbed it with my hand without the gloves so sure. got that so let's see all right let me unwrap these I got to get in front of this camera so I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to come back. Well, I'm going to put it on pause and I'm going to come back because I'm standing too far away.
So if you see me scream, that means I burned myself. So, um, I went back in, so I don't really have my lip because I added them other pieces of tape. So what I'm trying to do is get this out without messing it up. So I'm just going to cut the tape. And I'm cutting it. I'm not scratching the, the um, mud because it's right over the handle so I can go up under it. And that heat's coming off. I'm so scared I'm burning myself. Okay. Got that one off. And this is the one with my lips so I can take that one off. I'm just gonna unwrap it. Wow, y'all, look at that. Let me get my gl glove. Wow. So, there we go. This is the cup. And it worked perfectly. I know I'm, I'm moving the camera because my tripod about to fall, but there we go. I'll take better pictures of it, but that is awesome. Wow, I'm in love. Okay, guys, I'm Stephanie Robinson. Thank you so much for viewing my video. Hopefully, you got something out of it. Talk to you and see you the next time. Thanks a lot. Have a good one, guys.